So the next one of Kwanzaa, which is based on the what? In Guzo Saba. That's the, that means seven principles. You know, if we use these principles, there wouldn't be war. If you want unity, you have unity with your friends. If you, you know, you get in an argument, but then you remember, you know, that, hey, I want unity in this playground. I want unity with my friends. I want unity in my family. And sometimes you can, when you see your big brothers and sisters or even your family fighting, you could come in and try to solve that. We want unity here. I want unity in my household. And then the adults will look at you like, oh, wow. Because it's going to be you guys that make a difference. You are the new America. We're going to listen to you. You come up with a lot of good things that maybe us adults don't think about. So unity is really important. And for you to have the self-determination to build a new America. A new, you know, just a school. A cultural center. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. You just put your mind to do it. <laughs> Most kids would not know this. T tell them what, why it's very important and why it's cooperative economics, Ujima, and why we have to we have to think locally before globally. Because well, when you buy locally, you're supporting a small corporation. As if you, when you go around to like Target or something, it's already a big corporation. So whether or not you buy from them, they're still going to be making millions of dollars, so it doesn't make a difference. But if you go around to like a farmer's market and buy them, you're giving them money so that they can build their own corp corporation. Let's say, what's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah, man. You know, I don't know if I should do any farther, man. You know, I come here every year, I've seen you guys grow up. From the first grade, I am so proud of you in my lifetime that I get I get to you know witness and be with the future leaders of America to know that this country is in the hands of great individuals like you brothers and sisters. So I, I'm give yourself a hand. why it's really important to, to have a purpose in life. That you can kind of like see into your future and you know, like that you can see see if you want to like help other people and do what you want to do and help build other communities. That's really important. Let's give it let's give it a <laughs> You want to know why is it important to have a purpose in life? Why is it important to have a purpose in your life? Because, like, let's say if you help, like, like, say, like, let's say you're construction working, you build a house, then the people that like living in the house years later are saying, "Wow!" They never really think about the builder who actually made it, and about like the community, how that can help everybody, and how like when the construction um, worker. Um, drives by, and he'll say, "Yeah, I built that." And he'll feel proud of himself. Right. And so, and so, and so, it's important to have a purpose in your life, um, because you know, because then you can build on. That's, have that's a true. Meaning. You have a meaning. Well, if you don't have a purpose in life, you're you're kind of wasting your time. When when you um, get a purpose in life, then you you start to have self determination and no and. You're like, you're on track and you're, and you're on schedule. That's, that is incredible, man. Let's give it to the oh, sister. Yeah. 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 You got it. That is, you guys got it for purpose. You know, a lot of guys, people just go, they don't have a purpose. They're just like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I don't know if I'm going to school. You know, set your purpose early. Because it's all about your mind intention. It's your intention. When you get up in the morning, set your day. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it. You know, just don't get up in the morning. You take a few minutes, sit down, and set your intention, set your day. You know, I'm gonna do this, I got this to do, and everything. So whatever your mind intention, we're using, uh, how, many, how many percentage of our brain are we using? 
Anybody, anybody gonna tell me? No. How many percentage? Ten. 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 Ten percent. We're using ten percent of our brain. What? What? What's up with the rest? <laughs> What's up with the rest? So you 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 gonna have to start exercising because we're going into a new shift in this planet. Okay, you guys first to know. You know we're cool. We're family. The whole world is going through a shift. You guys, it's going to be so great for you. Because all that hatred, all that stuff is leaving. So you start tuning yourself to a higher frequency. That's a higher vibration. And when you're thinking about unity, and you're thinking about love, you're going to step right into that other dimension, that other frequency. A lot of people are not into that frequency. So nothing's going to happen to them, they're just going to remain asleep. You know? So you want to be awake. And you can be awake by loving and caring and compassion for everyone on this planet. Now, we're, we're all one people. And everybody struggles. I used to think it was just my struggle and all that stuff. But everybody struggles. Everybody on this planet. So, uh, you know, no, no one's unique, you know, because everybody has had their, their hard time coming, you know, from the Irish, from the, the, the Mexicans, the Chinese. That's why we're so beautiful. We're Americans. That's what makes us so beautiful, because we make up everybody. That's what makes us so special, you know. And you, we're a young country. You're going to see, and it's coming to pass, why... We're so special, being Americans. You know, I, I, I travel all over the planet. I just got back from Peru. I was in the jungle with the Amazon Indians. I was with the Afro Peruvians. Oh, yeah, awesome. I, you know, I go up with the Incas and, and you know. But when I come back home, and I'm seeing like all of us, all nations represented right here, it makes me really happy to, 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 to be, you know, an American, what we, a North Americano, you know, Americana. Um, so if it wasn't for, so if there wasn't any faith, then no one could trust each other. And That's right. No one could, like, have faith in them, like, oh, I can't trust you. And if it wasn't for a couple very famous people there, and faith, then there wouldn't be America. If it wasn't for Columbus, for not for not accepting that the world is flat and he thought it was round, right. then there wouldn't be America. That's true. And you remember, before Columbus came, it, it, we, all, we had Native American Indians already here. Yes. So we were, uh, he didn't discover, he didn't discover it was already, because it was already occupied. But he did have faith to get here, you know. And so we all have to have that faith and determination and all these principles to go forward and be really strong human beings. Wherever you go, your ancestors cover you in your heart. And they're, they're always there, huh? Come on. Hey guys, I love you guys. Don't forget me, all right? Okay. I never will. I, I never. Promise? Yes. Okay, I want to see you soon, okay? So turn around, and I want you to say hello to everybody. Turn around and say hello to everybody. Hey. Hi. Hi. Let's see you say Harambe. Harambe.